Hello learners, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to do air layering by using pomegranate plant and also I will tell you the concept involved in air layering. For more videos like this, do subscribe for my channel. You need not be a horticulturist or you don't require any costly rooting hormones for doing air layering. I strongly recommend pomegranate plant for practicing air layering because it will root easily within 45 days of uh, doing air layering. Now I will tell you how to prepare media for doing air layering. You don't need any costly media for air layering. Here I am using farmyard manure and red earth as a media. I am mixing farmyard manure 3 parts and red soil 1 part casually in with my hand. Here I am using 3 parts of farmyard manure because farmyard manure has the high ability to hold water so that the roots will form easily in air layered plant. Mix this well. You can also use vermicompost instead of farmyard manure but don't use any hardy media. I am slightly wetting the media to get some consistency so that it sticks well to the branch while air layering. After wetting with hand sprayer, mix the media well. It will get the consistency like this. It must be have this much of consistency so that it gets stick to the branch easily. The main concept involved in air layering is whenever the wounded plant pot is exposed to media which contains water will initiate rooting. This was the branch I am going to do air layering now. The branch must be in pencil size thickness or it must be one year old. For air layering you have to wound a small portion of this branch. Here I am wounding this branch by removing a ring of bark. For removing a ring of bark, first of all you want to give one ring cut here. Give another ring cut leaving 3 cm above the first ring cut. Make sure to give the ring cuts well, otherwise the bark won't come properly while removing. You can clearly see the ring cuts here. After giving two ring cuts, join the ring cuts by giving a vertical cut. See how I am giving the vertical cut, joining two ring cuts. Make sure to give the vertical cut well. I made the vertical cut. Now I am going to remove the ring of bark. Observe how I am removing the ring of bark with the help of my knife. So you can clearly see how I removed the ring of bark here. Successfully I wounded a small portion of branch by removing a ring of bark. Now I am going to expose this wounded area to a moist media. For that I am going to use the media which I, I had already prepared. This was the media which I prepared before. Now I am fixing the media to the wounded area. It was in good consistency so that it get fixed well. Observe how I am fixing the media to the wounded area. I am fixing the media to the wounded area with the help of my hands. I fixed the media to the wounded area. The next thing I am going to do is I will wrap the media with white polythene. You can also use black polythene. The main reason for doing like this is the polythene will protect the media drying from sun. 
so that the moist condition will remain until rooting take place. After wrapping with polythene, tie both ends with rope so that it holds the polythene covering the media until rooting take place. I finished wrapping with polythene. Regularly water the media with the syringes at interval of 7 days. It was the 20 days old air layered branch. Here I removed the polythene and media for showing you how the first stage of root initiation look like. The first stage of root initiation will be like this. It was 50 days old air layered branch. Within 50 days the rooting will take place. You can clearly see the roots. Here the algae is grown in the media. To avoid the algae growth you can use black polythene to cover the media during air layering. The black polythene will avoid algae growth. It's time to cut the air layered branch. I'm going to transplant this branch into a polythene bag containing farmyard manure and red soil as a media. It is a asexual process of propagation so that the plant will similar to its mother plant in all characteristics and, and it also bear the fruit exactly as same as the mother plant. I trimmed all the leaves before transplanting into this polythene bag. Now I am going to keep this polythene bag in a shady area for a month so that it will get established in the soil well. Don't transplant this into a direct soil. It may get failed due to hardy nature of the soil. So you must keep this plant in a shade for a month. I hope you understand how to do air layering for plants. If you still not subscribe for my channel, do subscribe for my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.